I can't <laughs> hide or suppress my excitement about this topic. I actually really, really am excited about trench coats. People who know me think that the dress is my favorite article of clothing. No, it's actually a trench coat. The trench coat is one of those things that you wear and you're already slaying. Like you don't have to try as long as it's well fitted. I also love to go through the history of clothes, like why they were even created in the first place. I noticed that clothes that have been designed with purpose and a very clear intent tend to transcend time, literally. So the origins of the trench coat actually come from the raincoat. The raincoat was first designed in 1824 by Charles Mackintosh, who was English and Scottish. The way he achieved um, this look was, first of all, with the fabric, starting that it was basically a piece of fabric sandwiched between uh, two pieces of rubber. But this design had problems because it was really stinky and also um, it ended up being like a coat of B.O. You would sweat so much in these coats. So in 1884, Thomas Burberry created the trench coat. And the fabric that was used is Garbadine, which is a breathable light fabric that is also waterproof. This design was ultimately the most badass design, especially when it came to war. The reason why is because the trench coat was designed to help soldiers navigate through the trenches as well as navigate through weather conditions that were very harsh and also accelerate their speed in loading their guns. Because of its practicality and its elegant design, the trench coat continued to be worn throughout Europe. And yes, this spread to America, the greatest land when it comes to making movies. Not only did legends like Harry Grant and Humphrey Bogart slay in a trench coat, it became a signature look for the film noir style of filming. It gets even better with what I just found. So I found this picture and I just couldn't help myself but to like add it in here. Um, it's like super cringy, but cute. I'm sure Ashley and Mary Kate would appreciate this. I mean, I actually remember this picture, especially this ring with the chain choker. <laughs> and here are more illustrations of um, classic pairings. I mean, I would have never thought of putting a cowboy hat with a trench coat. I do love this. This is a very Burberry-esque feel and especially the stocking is really cute. I know that most people, when they wear a trench coat, they wanna emulate Audrey Hepburn, but let me expand your palette to Catherine Deneuve. One of the things that I just absolutely love about her is she has so much dimension to her style and her character. She could be mysterious, playful, flirty, but also have a perfect balance of kink and edge. I would highly recommend if you don't know much about her to just research her um, to understand all the components that I'm trying to package for you in this video. This individual is also as transcendent as the trench coat. Her style, um, her character as well beautifully complements the subject and yet that's why I had to include her. I wanted to start this look with my favorite legend in a trench coat, which was Catherine Deneuve. And I topped this with a satin bow and an Abercrombie and Fitch coat with a reformation dress, which is long sleeves. The shoes are from Old Navy. What I really love about this trench coat, even though it's not waterproof, is that it's very comfortable, very flexible, lightweight. And every time I wear this outfit, I turn heads and I get so many compliments. I also love the detail of the gun sleeve. This in the back is a back yoke. It gives this ultra feminine coat a bit of an edge. You can also style this by just putting it on your shoulders. So this look 
is not your typical Parisian Audrey Hepburn look that everyone pairs it with a brown trench coat. Girl, I wanted to go with a pop, with a bold pop, which is magenta. I love this coat. This little coat is from New York and Company, and it is waterproof. It's for all occasions, except if it's really flipping hot outside. Also, it comes with a belt that shows your <laughs> feminine curves. <laughs> the top is from The Gap, and the shoes, which are my favorite, are actually Crocs, waterproof. The trench coat that is being worn currently is actually the closest thing to a World War I trench coat. It was made by Abercrombie and Fitch. It's 100% cotton, wrinkles so flippin' easy, it's annoying. But it is for any occasion, occasion, <laughs> and even a hot day. The top is from Anthropology. It's handmade lace. As you can see, there are some very delicate detailings. The trench coat also has some very traditional trademarks of a trench coat. The shoes are from Franco Sarto. The pants are from The Loft. I love the buttons. And as you can see, more buttons on the trench coat. What a delight. The epaulets are an original feature of the trench coat. So this look makes me look like some mystique mistress. <laughs> yes, it does have that feel when I wear this look. The coat is made out of suede. It is from Ava Mendez, New York and Company, as well as the dress. I decided to put the sleeves a little bit up so it has the contrast and also a little bit more story to the coat itself and look. I do love the wrap around feature where you can tie. The only thing that is not that great is that it tends to slip off. But other than that, it's warm, it's cozy, not waterproof. I would not wear this on a rainy day because the color might fade, but it's super comfy. Also has a satin lining. As the dress is better illustrated here, there is a waist belt that definitely accentuates the feminine silhouette that one would have. And you could also wear this with the coat being open. So this is a artistic, sharp, chic look. The dress is from Reformation. It's a turtleneck dress, long sleeve, and the coat is flannel, light, and it comes from a brand that is no longer existent, but it is one of my favorite pieces that I still wear, and I've had this coat for like 10 years. <laughs> It also has this six button breasted front as well as a waist tie. Um, definitely one of my favorite features on this coat. You may also just wear this look, wearing it on your shoulder. This is my favorite, who cares, vibe. Brooches, brooches, brooches. Yes, these are my brooches. I have many of them. No, I did not inherit any of them from my grandmas because they, they suck. But a brooch is a detail that no one really thinks of and it is a legendary statement. The brooch that I have right now is partially made out of porcelain handcrafted by Trifari 1958 and the B is a generic. Thank you so much guys for watching and please hit the like button as well as please be cool and huh, subscribe. Also let me know what you think and what are other trench coat looks that I haven't covered that you may like. Bye guys, thanks.